So basically, uh, you know, the, the reason a number of people, uh, you know, mailed this in uh, uh, to the major majority reporters at gmail.com, which you can email. Uh, and, and basically, Alex Jones was in the UK over the weekend on a political talk program uh, with an, a journalist named Alex Aronovich, I think his name was. He's a, he's a UK journalist who's actually, he writes about uh, conspiracy theory culture. Uh, and and the problems with it. David Aronovich. David Aronovich. The host. The host of the show is Andrew Neil. Andrew Neil, and this is like Politics Sunday on the BBC. I think the name of the show uh, is the name of the show. Sunday right? Politics. Or Sunday Politics. <laughs> I know we got you got <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm dyslexic with this story. But anyways, there's a Bilderberg Group meeting uh, in the UK right now. So Alex Jones is actually in the UK actually on the set of this program, talking with this guy, uh, David Aronovich, uh, who is an anti-conspiracy theory person uh, and the host of this show. And basically, there's two things about this that I think are relevant. We'll probably play a little bit of it. One, I just think it goes to repeat again that over a weekend, when you've had these incredibly important disclosures about the PRISM program and about you know, even uh, th th these, this tremendous overreach uh, of the U.S. surveillance state, uh, that if ever there was a time to turn off the garbage and not listen to people like Alex Jones or Glenn Beck and really get serious about what's actually happening in your world uh, and, the, and the complexities of it and the wrongs of it, now is the time. Uh, but, and then the other part that's funny about this, if we're going to play to the end, is that the, uh, the, the British press doesn't sort of handle Alex Jones in the same way as the American press. They they're kind of seem to be less impressed by his theatrics or less intimidated. So it's kind of funny. If you play to the... Are you, ready right, to play some, you ready to play some of this? Yeah, let's get... All right, get let's, listen to some, let's listen to... They're talking about this Bilderberg group meeting that's happening in the UK uh, right now, and Alex is trying to do his thing. So let's just, let's just play a little bit of this. Who anyway. haven't been acclimated yet. Did you let him finish? We're in a right. police state. It's 1984. Yeah, listen, well, you guys just want to normalize would it. Would you let him Alex, finish? how come you're here? If we're in a police state, how yeah. come they you're here? They actually turned back some of my reporters, but they didn't turn me back, and I was told this think, because they don't want to make a stink. Do you think the BBC is part of the Bilderberg Group? Well, uh, you know, Winston Smith did work here. I mean, come on, Eric Blair worked here, and that's what he said it was. Why do you think we've let you on? Why have we let you on then? Because you guys think that you can manage the whole thing, and now our information's gotten too big. I have three million radio listeners a day. That's a low number. Three million. I get about 50 million YouTube uh, views a month. That's a very conservative number. I make films, put them online for free, that get watched 40 okay. million times, like the Obama deception. All and right. that's why, because the establishment All doesn't right. know what to do. No, I, to speak. No, Alex has this point, and it's, a, and it's an important one. I would have, say, 10 years ago said, Listen to all this stuff. He believes that people put cancer virus in vaccine in order in order to create a eugenics program. That's what he that's yeah. what he believes. We talk it's, about it's like medical that. discovery. And, and we would have said, and we would have, and I would have said, hey, that's kind the of positive. He's mocking them you notice, on the BBC. What? Alex Jones has did this when he was on Piers Morgan. He did his little British accent, and he's going back into but it But that again. makes no sense when you're on BBC. He's literally in the UK, in Britain, on the BBC, doing his British accent. Go, go ahead. On and it's an interesting psychological phenomenon. Like the, Skee, like the, prob the problem is Morton the down, conspiracy theories like this oh, are believed. I believed in. Hey, listen! I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game, okay? <laughs> Our government, in the U.S., is building FEMA camps. We have an NDAA where they disappear people now. You have this arrest for public safety, life in prison. You are the worst it, person I've ever interviewed. No, no, it's basically off it. with their heads, disappear. David, them, thank take you for being with us. Infowars.com. Liberty You're rising. watching the Liberty Sunday politics. Rising. We have an idiot freedom on the program will not today. Stop. You will not stop in just freedom. 20 minutes. You will not stop the republic. Humanity is awakening. Infowars.com. No, you guys are crazy. I'll be looking at you the week the ahead with our political stupid. panel. You're Until crazy. then, the Thinking Sunday the politics across know. the You're UK. Crazy. Thinking the public isn't waking up. We wow. Wow. Applause all the way around. Applause for the BBC host. You, you have to, we'll, we'll, we'll post. We'll post this on uh, on YouTube. Um, you have to see this part of the video at the end. He's shouting, 
because they're cutting away to commercial. I mean, they just had him on for for nine and a half minutes, which I mean, that's that's, that's long that's, for a that's TV long, program. Long well, yes, I read it, and they have a little bit longer segments. But yeah, they gave him a long time. And I mean, he they're cutting away. They didn't. I mean, he he right away he shouted, "Don't you try to interrupt me!" Before they even interrupted him. No, I mean, that did. was pretty bizarre. I, no, it was amazing, and I just love that they're like, "This man is an idiot." We'll be moving on. And then, and then what's great about Alex Jones, and I'm, I'm going to just lay this marker down today uh, to wrap this segment up. Number one, if for whatever reason anybody who watches this on YouTube or just comes across this, stop listening to this guy. Please stop wasting your time. It's garbage. Number two, he's playing you for a fool because I do think it's an act. I think when you go on a crazy rampage like that, and, but you're still saying – your website over and over and over and over again. Infowars.com. You never, Infowars.com. I've never, I've never met like a you know a crazy dude like you know uh, on the street or something who's who's ranting and is like. And by the way, buy my book. Buy my book. When Sam goes, Bill O'Reilly, Glenn Beck, Alex Jones, uh, and Glenn Beck is the master. Everything is integrated product placement. Alex Jones is a fraud. Alex Jones is lying. And if you take him seriously. You're being played by a fool day in and day out while real things are happening in America and real things are happening in the world that are major problems. When Sam goes... So wake up! (laughs) Wake up! Stop listening to Alex Jones! When Sam goes on other shows, he'll come come into this office the next day and Michael and I will literally grill him like, dude, why didn't you mention the website more? Like, you (laughs) you didn't even say it once. That's true. Like, Like, that's like... There's people who don't want to push things because they want their what they what what they have to say to speak for itself, and then there's people who just throw out random subjects because they don't have the in-depth information, which is what Alex Jones did. How many different things did he t- did he mention in that? Th- I f- he threw out twenty different topics, including and, some real things, which is the problem. But he never went in depth yeah. with either of them because yep. you know why? What he believes is going on, or what he he wants you to believe is what's going on in there, isn't what's going on, and that's the problem. 